Go Giants, man. Let's go. Let's go. The Giants, who are a six and a half point underdogs, going against the Buffalo Bills, beat the Buffalo Bills by 14 points. Now, let me just find my stats here. By the way, if you guys hear a noise, it's my neighbor. He's mowing his lawn, and um, I have a huge window, like a patio window in my room. I'll show it to you guys at the end of the video, but, um, so you're able to hear everything that's going on in the yards and everything, and it's kind of annoying. I gotta wake up to that. But, um, yeah, man, the Giants win 24-10. to Don't get me wrong, the, the, the Buffalo Bills missed out on 17 points, so we could have easily lost that game. Again, in the fourth quarter, we struggle in the fourth quarter, um, I'm going to go over the uh, the uh, missed opportunities by the Buffalo Bills. First off, the Buffalo Bills missed a field goal. Then they could have went for a field goal, but they went, out, went for a fourth down. For a, a freaking screen pass to Carlos Williams? Are you serious? That They could have done much better than that. I, I got to admit, Charles Clay was wide open, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, saying anything there. I'm not going to go into detail, but, um, then the touchdowns, I mean, Tyrod Taylor, our, our linebackers need it really, we really need a spy on, a li uh, on the freaking quarterback, especially when, Colin, when we play Colin Kaepernick, because Tyrod Taylor could have ran all over us, first of all, Kerry Wynn's slow as hell, I mean, Kerry Wynn's a good player, don't get me wrong, but stopping a quarterback on the run, slow as hell, oh my god. We, all, we almost gave that one away, man. Except for that holding call, they were holding Jay Bromley. Uh, that's the reason why Tyrod Taylor had that huge hole to run in. They held, um, the guard held him, number 60, held him. And um, he couldn't, um, Jay Bromley couldn't do anything about it, so that's why he ran. So I'll give that to, I mean, that could have been, if, the, if there was no holding call, you gotta wonder if Tyrod Taylor would have found that huge hole anyway. Um, and then, and then the touchdown by Charles Clay, that could have, that could have well, uh, been the game for us to be struggling in the fourth quarter. Um, Charles Clay wide open, wide open on the scene, man. Where was our linebackers? They were playing too far up, trying to stop the run. And then where was our safeties? Too far back, trying to stop the wide receivers. They weren't, nobody was near the freaking tight end, we made him, we made him look like a superstar, he had, he had what, six receptions, or nine receptions for 111 yards, nine receptions for 111 yards, um, so, missed opportunity by the Bills, and it gives the Giants the win, now, um, sure, the, uh, the Buffalo Bills were held by penalties, 17 penalties, but, uh, the more disciplined team wins, and the, usually the Giants are very disciplined, even though they had 11 penalties of their own. The Giants are always a disciplined team. Uh, Tom Coughlin, a great leader there. Um, okay, let's go over some stats real quick. I don't want to make this video too long. It's just a post-game review. Um, Eli Manning, 20-35 for 212 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Our interception was unnecessary. We already had 24 points on the, on the board. All you needed to do was run it, run down some clock, and kick the damn field goal. We were already 14 points up. You don't, you don't need to, to pass for another, you know, Eli's trying to get another touchdown pass. Ruben Randall was not open. I don't know what he saw there. I mean, Ruben Randall ran a little slant. The defender knew it. He basically ran it with him. And Ruben Randall was behind the freaking defender. I don't understand why you would throw it. But, um, Eli was just trying to get another touchdown pass, I guess. But, um, on the run, uh, this running back by committee thing, I love it. But, the, the, um, offensive line needs some running holes for us, man. I mean, pass, pass blocking, they're doing excellent. One sack against... A Buffalo Bills front seven that could that could very well kill us last year, that would have been six sacks right there. Last year that would have been six sacks.
but this year, one sack against the Buffalo Bills, man, great job by pass blocking, but run blocking, we really need help there. We really need help. Um, my player of the game has to be Rashad Jennings, man. Rashad Jennings. That, I don't, I don't even want to get into that, man. Juke, broke a, uh, broke a leg tackle, juked another guy, stiffed on another guy, and high stepped into the end zone. I mean, just, just a great job. 51 yards, man. Dwayne Harris caught his first touchdown. Dwayne Harris looked very impressive to me. Being that he is a fourth wideout, our fourth wideout, and he's filling in, um, for Ruben Randall's spot. And Ruben Randall's filling in for Drake Deku's spot. So, um, I mean, great job. But we only have we only had three wide receivers participate in um, in pass in the passing game. Then we had one tight end. And then we had Will Ty who dropped the freaking ball. You need you need some help, Will Ty. We could have got that easy first down, maybe even pushed in for another touchdown. But um, and then we had yeah, that's it. And Rashad Jennings. So holy crap. Sorry guys, he's just he's, he's going all over. He's just minding his own business. He's going on. He's going even like close to my house. But um, okay, yeah, defense did okay. We really need to stop quarterbacks on the run. We really need to make sure we fix that against the um, the 49ers who have a quarterback, Colin Kaepernick, who's gonna run all over us. But um. The two turnovers, um, I don't know what uh, Steve Spagnuolo is doing to, to tell these guys to rip the ball out. Tremaine McBride did it last year, but I see a lot more of it this year about stopping the receiver. Instead of tackling him, hold him, have one guy hold him, and one guy is trying to rip the ball out. It's absolutely just great teamwork right there. It was Landon Collins and Prince Mukamara trying to get the ball away from Robert Woods. Successfully did. Prince Mukamara... I mean, he he go he tries to find the middle of the field first. He just he should have just took the ball and ran as far as he can straight. But I mean, whatever. He got the ball away, and Devon Kennard with that leaping interception. How the hell did he catch that ball? I don't know. But that's it, guys. Missed opportunities comes out to a Giants win. But don't get me wrong, the Giants earned this win, guys. We earned the shout out to all. Giants fans watching this, Giants video makers, just Giants fans in general, um, on to uh, San Francisco, let's bring the heat, man, um, coming to our house, trying to get some redemption, as the last year, 49ers beat us 16-10, to and Larry Donnell dropped a touchdown pass that could have well ended the game, so, that's it, guys, see you guys. Tomorrow for my prediction video, Monday Night Football tonight, Lions and the Seahawks, you know who's going to win, but see you guys later.